Good morning and welcome to the Parish of All Saints, Harrow Weald. I'm Father John Barker, I'm the Vicar of All Saints and we are live streaming worship until we're able to return to our beautiful church, uh, hopefully in the next week or two. This morning we're going to say a morning prayer. It will begin uh, internet uh, permitting at around 10.30 and uh, as we prepare for worship, we we'll listen to our director of music, Diane Tigg, playing Thine Be the Glory. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering sun. A beautiful and very appropriate hymn for this Easter season. And so on this Wednesday morning, the Wednesday of the first week following Easter, let's say morning prayer together. Morning prayer from common worship. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom, in the promised land so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son <coughs> may we the first fruits of your new creation rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts blessed be god father son and holy spirit blessed be god forever amen The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And let's keep silence just for a moment and I'm going to commit this new day to God's care and ask his blessing on it. O 
as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our morning psalm is Psalm 113, with a beautiful refrain. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. Alleluia. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. Who is like the Lord our God that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house and makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. <coughs> From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O Lord. May your promise to raise the poor from the dust and turn the fortunes of the needy upside down be fulfilled in our time also, as it was in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A Song of Solomon Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Our Bible reading this morning is final verses from Matthew's 28th chapter. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. They worshipped him, but some doubted. If we needed proof that the disciples were human, Matthew gives that to us in those words. Doubt is an inevitable part of being human. And so the question to pose and then leave with you for reflection this morning is, how to overcome doubt? Well, both the psalm and the uh, canticle, the Song of Solomon, gave us the, uh, the answer to that question through love. The uh, canticle, the Song of Solomon, tells us very simply that love cannot have any price. It said if the richest man offered his house for love, he'd be scorned. 
Love cannot be valued. It is invaluable. And in the psalm, we had the beautiful words of the psalmist. And it was basically confirming over and over again the never-ending love of God for us and the care which that provides for us. They worshipped him, but some doubted. How to overcome doubt? To love as much and as freely as we are able and to never forget that we are loved by God. Totally, unconditionally loved by him. Yes, there will be times when we doubt. But if we can always hold on to the reality that we are loved by God and share that love with others, then our faith will overcome our doubts and allow us to worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Our New Testament canticle, the Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb who, for our sakes, hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who, for our sakes, hung upon the tree. Alleluia. And now we will say our morning prayers. Let us pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, in this week following Easter, we continue to give you thanks for the gift of your Son, who was born a man, and who lived among us as a man, who died as a man, so that our sins can be forgiven, and who on the third day was raised to life, and now is with you in glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray that we may learn from the perfect example of Jesus. We pray that we can conquer our doubts through love. May we always Feel your love to us and may those who are with us feel our love to them. Lord, 
in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we continue to pray for those who are affected by coronavirus and we give thanks for all those people who are working so hard to care for the sick, to manage and implement the vaccination programme, to keep our services that we require available to us and to help us to continue to live as normally as is possible. We thank you for their sacrifice and for their example and we pray that they may feel your peace surrounding them and giving them hope and strength to keep going. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for those who we know and love who have particular needs at this time. From our parish list, we pray for Isabel Dworeski, Asha Solanke, for Sabina Smith, Gemma Pulford, Catherine Jones, Siobhan Renson, Noel Bevan, Sheila Ward, Ray Padoni, Roger Siswick, Jane Slade, and Margaret Vintner. May they feel your peace surrounding them and may that give them strength to keep going. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our collect for this day, Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. And now rejoicing in God's creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you wherever you are and with those who you love wherever they may be, today and always. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Alleluia. And so wherever you are, I, uh, I wish you a wonderful day and keep warm. If it's as cold where you are as it is here in Harrow Weald, you'll know why I say keep warm. We had a white frost this morning, so what's going to happen to the lovely blossom on the fruit trees in the vicarage garden? Time will tell, and at the moment, only God knows. So I leave you for today. This week, uh, things are quite quiet in the vicarage. Ella and I are taking rest after Holy Week and the, the joy of Easter Day. We will be worshipping again on Friday morning at 11.30. We'll say prayers during the day and we'll remember in those prayers those who we know and love who have long-term uh, health and uh, other concerns and we will remember them by name in our prayers. Until then, I leave you. There will be a funeral in um, All Saints tomorrow of Sheila, May, Sheila Mayo, 
who was married in All Saints many years ago. So do please hold Sheila and her family in your prayers. But now, as our worship ends today, I leave you with Diane Tig, our uh, Director of Music, and she is going to be playing for us now, Hallelujah, My Father. Thank you. 